In this video, we'll talk about the dangers of withering under pressure. When you break down when facing difficult periods, you have a lot to lose. It doesn't only show that you are weak, but it also shows that you have not been mentally prepared for the days of adversity. Here are some of the dangers of bowing down to the pressures of life. Depression. According to the National Network of Depression Centers, one in five Americans will be affected by depression in their lifetimes. This psychological problem alongside anxiety is one of the leading mental issues in the world today. This fact isn't too shocking because the modern world is full of potentially mentally damaging situations. When you are not sturdy enough to weather your stormy days, you will plunge into depression. Note that depression isn't the same as the regular brief moments of sadness we experience due to an unpleasant occurrence in our daily activities. What makes it depression is the intensity and the period. A person suffering from depression will experience intense feelings of sadness that can last for a significant part of the day. It can even last for days or weeks. One of the signs of depression is social withdrawal. This is a situation where you prefer to stay more indoors and sleep on your bed than go out with friends and family. There is nothing wrong with having occasional times when you just want to be alone. However, it is a problem if it's something you do a lot. Talk to a therapist as soon as possible if you often experience negative emotions before it leads to suicidal ideations. Lack of self-confidence. If you don't believe in yourself, no one will take that gamble on you. It's only in very rare cases people hand responsibilities to people who don't believe they have what it takes to succeed in a role. One of the reasons such people are given responsibilities is usually because there's no other person that can be trusted to take the role. When you allow your challenges to overwhelm you, your confidence will be shattered. You will get used to giving excuses for your failures. In fact, in most cases, you would have said it beforehand that you'll not succeed in the task. So when you fail, you will remind your critics that you have already predicted your failure before then. It's all right to have a realistic evaluation of your abilities. Nonetheless, the truth is that there are cases you will never know what you can do until you make an attempt. So the best test of your ability to solve a problem is to try. Some people have been lucky enough to stumble on the solution to a problem because they made an attempt. Such people made their own luck. Luck only favors the bold. Approach a situation like someone who has nothing to lose. If you fail, you would have learned how not to do it. Loss of trust. If you want people to trust you, then you need to start facing your challenges and seeking ways to overcome them. If you have a history of petering out when the going gets tough, no one will trust you. This can be problematic and limiting when you have ambitions to attain leadership positions. One of the attributes of great leaders is their ability to solve problems. No one will remember the leader who went into hiding when things weren't going smoothly. If you want to become that person others can trust during their stormy days, you must be known for your ability to stay strong when you're facing challenging situations. It is when you have been able to solve your own problems that you can help others. Fear. Fear is part and parcel of our lives as human beings. It is the reason we build strong walls and fences around our homes and communities. It's also the reason we go for medical checkups. We don't want anything that will compromise our security or damage our health. However, it's a problem when you are overwhelmed by your fears, such that they prevent you from attempting to make the best out of your life. The days of adversity trains you to face your fears and learn to overcome them. However, when you run from challenges, you'll become a slave to fear. You will be afraid of failing because you don't want people to criticize you. You don't want others to mock you, so you end up always giving excuses for your fears. You might call it being realistic. However, that is far from the truth. If you don't know how to do something, learn about it from people who can put you through. The modern world offers countless materials that can help you learn how to do anything. So the lack of information is no longer a tenable excuse. Don't live your life in fear. Face your challenges and damn the consequences. Shame. You'll live the rest of your life in shame and guilt when you remember how you backed down when you should have shown more courage. It gets worse when you see others who had more challenges succeed where you had failed. You don't want to tell your children that you had failed earlier in life because you were too afraid to take a bold step. They might not say anything out of respect for you, but they know that you were only giving flimsy excuses. You cannot afford to live the rest of your life in the shadows because you often break down when facing challenging situations. Now is the time to build mental strength by making the best of what life throws at you. Stop complaining about the things you cannot change and start working on the things you can improve. When life hits you, stand up and walk again. You will wish you did so later in your life. You don't have to remember your youthful days with shame and regrets when you grow older. Suicidal Ideation 
When you keep breaking down whenever you face unpleasant situations, you might end up taking your life someday. It all begins by seeing yourself as a person that doesn't deserve to be loved and treated with value. Lack of resilience will make you prone to errors of judgment because you will often blame others or circumstances for your predicaments. You'll believe that life has been fairer to others than to you. You will blame your parents for your poverty and your gene for your lack of dexterity and creativity. Indeed, your parents and other people in your life might have contributed to your lack of opportunities. For example, they might not have sponsored your education. Nonetheless, it is not an excuse. The world is full of people who educated themselves due to their determination and refusal to give excuses for failing in life. So at the end of the day, you are responsible for whatever you make of your life. So start taking more responsibilities today. Failure to do so can lead to having thoughts of taking your life at different points. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.